Okay, yes, I'm still sick, but Stam has given a press conference and he said a whole load of baloney, so let's get into it just real quick. First off, thank you to this journalist from the Daily Mirror for asking this question that we just need to keep on asking. Will safe and legal routes be extended on your watch, and do you think this can play a role in stuff in the boats? And basically, Starmer goes into election mode autopilot in his response. It's really clear here. He just says the same old line. So far as stopping the boats is concerned, um, we have got to take the, down the gangs that are running the vile trade in the okay. first place. So, the first place he says that the smuggling gangs are bringing people over in the first place no in the first place people are escaped from murderous uh torturing uh repressive regimes around the world in places like uh, Eritrea and Syria they are escaping from the Taliban in Afghanistan and they're escaping from the horrific war in Sudan that is what's happening in the first place countries of asylum like uh, the UK, but also the rest of Europe, do not offer any safe way for those people to travel and escape. So that's why countries like Chad, which is one of the poorest countries in the world, is the number one hosting country for Sudanese refugees. Right? Countries which have not got the resources to support people properly, the starvation and disease spreading in the refugee camps in Chad, will become increasingly desperate in those situations where they fled to in the immediate term and some of them, a very small proportion of them, decide to continue their journey further and an even smaller proportion of them reach northern France and uh, want to come to the UK specifically because of connections to the UK. They need somebody to help them get across the channel. Why? Because we have built up a militarized border system there at vast expense over decades um, to try to uh, shut down any safe and legal way for them to cross the channel. So they require the assistance of smugglers because of our actions. So the smugglers, absolutely not what's happening in the first place. And then we get Drawing this. on my experience of having taken down terrorism gangs, um, uh, those that smuggle guns and drugs, um, I think that the same can be done with those that are running this vile trade. And yeah, I mean, it sounds well out, doesn't it? So Keir Starmer took down the terrorist gangs, um, but we still have terrorism, don't we? And, and while terrorism is more complicated than migrant smuggling, um, the same kind of applies. Like, even if Starmer manages to arrest a smuggler or even a gang of smugglers, well, we're still going to have smuggling, I can tell you, because we'll still have the refugee and the closed border. <laughs> and as long as we have the refugee and then we have the closed border, then there is a market for smugglers to help people get across to safety. There's only one solution that is viable to actually prevent people from taking dangerous journeys to the UK, and that is to give them safe journeys to make to the UK, right? And the racists may not like it. They may not, they, they don't, they won't like it. They'll be here saying, nah, send them back. We don't want them. That's what they'll say. Sorry, I'm on meds. I can't help it. I go loopy. They'll be set there saying that. But the truth is, we can't make these people disappear. They arrive anyway. They arrive with smugglers because that is the only option that we have left them with. If we give them safe, regulated routes to come here, we can be in control of immigration to the UK again. But if we don't do that, we cannot. And this tough talk, pointing at different things and just being like, oh, arrest it, I'll arrest it, I'll arrest it away, it doesn't work. It doesn't work and it hasn't worked. It's the same solutions as the Tories gave us, didn't give us, because they are not real solutions. And Starmer's really gonna have to change his tune, I'm afraid.